yeah art is very powerful too just like music you know or any other uh, form of art you know the visual art is very powerful i believe strongly that um one can use it effectively even government can use it effectively to reoriented people people. because i say my art is for social re-engineering yeah so the process goes on like uh, now i'm a full-time artist Artist. yeah i'm working on building my own imagery with my own full message you know vis-a-vis what i've done in the past Past, so i had this exhibition may 25 portraits 25 pieces we sold 18 so that that, that's that that's very powerful yes. yes That's, Everyone that's came in. Highly and com- yes. The most important thing, one, two, three, four, at least people yes. learned about Africa Day, and they said, "Wow, that's true." Hopefully, next I want year, to do it every yes. year. So it will get to a time people in authority we now recognize that it's valuable to have our own thing, you know, well recognized, depicted. Yeah, yes. depicted. So we may even eventually have a holiday, so Africans can feel proud, you know, For as being African. Africans. Yes, Now, no. I have a piece. Um, I want to quickly mention that as a pan African, as a true human being, I look at how we dress. I look at how as Africans, as yes. Africans, we are lost. Hmm. The women folk, for example, 90% of them have straightened their hair, and hmm. that's not natural. Hmm. And I look, do we sit down and think, hmm. white women, how many of them have kinked their hair to become like our own? You understand? Yet we call God. God has created you beautiful. A fellow human being will tell you you are, inf- you are not okay. Then you understand. You don't start changing. So I have a piece I called hair piece. Mm. You know your hair hair, hair piece. piece. Yes. So I did like 18 different hairstyles, natural African the, the African design. The, the platin, the everything. Yes, yes. And I gave them names, reminiscent of current trends. Yes. I even have Kurkere, one of them. I have <laughs> Azonto. I have um, Blackberry. You know, I have uh, Corolla. You know, so that's a piece. And people who have seen it, they say. They are wow. amazed. And some people, young people, ladies, when they see that piece, they now realize, realize the that. reality that, oh, there's not an alternative way to do my hair. You understand? So it's the process of art. Look at government. Lagos State government, for example. Yes. They talk about tax or you know, the about, environment yes. and so on. When I'm driving, I laugh. I say, look at this Lassa billboard. It's like a, a, a co- canvas country. for me. You know? Yeah. Imagine a series of cartoons. Take, for example, the the value of life we don't take lives seriously. we don't value life seriously here the way we drive shows that we don't value our lives we don't even love ourselves not to talk of loving somebody else mm. you see people driving they are in the lane two lane road comes to, to six sometimes yes. everybody's taking chance you see somebody crossing the road anyhow and i'm wondering imagine that in carton mm. on billboard mm. lassa billboard mm. you know You will laugh, but you learn a lesson from, from me. So art is very powerful, and I'm working towards that. All right, I working think we have a first call. Yeah. Hello, good morning. You're welcome. Hello. 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 Uh, we, we should apologize for uh, a little challenge with some of our uh, telephone service providers, but I would like to appeal to our viewers, if your call, your, your voice call is not coming through, Please use a text message you know, to, to talk to us. And then also for viewers to lower the volume of their TV sets because once the volume is too high, you're going to have a reverb. That means we cannot hear each other. You, we can't talk to you and you cannot talk to us. Um, now, um, okay, we have a caller online. Hello? Can you please kill the volume of your TV set? Otherwise, we can't talk to you. Thank you. Now, now let's, let's, let's come to... Um, some of the things that I consider to be the, the some of the basics. Okay. Learning. Yeah. How can we get art to become, you know, a better prepared subject at schools? I mean, let's even start from primary schools. Yes. Because I those days when we were growing yeah. up, yeah. you know, you have crafts, you have yeah. art, you have yeah. and you were encouraged yeah. to, yeah, to, 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 to learn. To today to it's artist. all about maths and English and the uh, French and yeah. and um socially. Yes. Today comedians are making big deal. You understand? Um, footballers have made it already. So um, musicians are doing, to dancers are doing. So that's why I'm trying mm. to come out more. Mm. I'm saying visual artists do have to come out, present what they have. Because if you don't show what you have, people will not, not know what yes, you have. Younger yes. people who are born, we are born like me, yes. that have that artistic talent, talent so yes. that they can come out and pursue it. Because if you tell somebody Hello? you're an artist. You know, Hello? Mm-hmm. Hello? 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 
I think I think we lost that uh, call again. Okay, yeah, then yeah, if, if you tell someone you're an artist, you know they wonder, ah, how can you earn a living being an artist? But we we'll have parents artists, asking that question. Actually. Yes, a lot of artists are earning good living. Seriously, my humble self, I'm paying my bills with my art. I I traveled some other places in this world because of my art. No, let me. I, I know so, a lot of parents yeah. are watching this program, yeah. and a lot of yeah. children are also watching. Yeah. Are you are you trying to say to everybody that you can actually make a living from yes, art? Yes, you can make a good living. And it's even more honest than the hustle that is going on in, in our country. You understand? You're using your talent, your sweat. You're about people say only your work mm. and it's handwork. Mm. And believe yeah, me. But you know, when you when you drive around some streets, I some of the things that some artists put up, you know, I mean for as um, art illustration, it, it, it's beggarly. So a lot of parents are not too sure that, that uh, you want to choose that career pattern. For believe you me, what you call beggarly, you know, art is subjective. The okay, beauty the is in the, the eye of the, of the beholder. beholder. Believe you me, if you take a Picasso piece, a Pica Picasso, for those who don't know, is one of the greatest so-called artists, you know, from that's uh, from the whole world. Yes. Uh, based on you know, whatever, you, whatever, you the appreciation that time. put structure yes. down, so there is your appreciation. <laughs> Picasso, they can sell it for hundred million dollars. So you know what it means. But take that Picasso, to show it to take it to Joel Egba, <laughs> show people they will price it for ten naira. You understand? <laughs> hello. So, hello. Hello. Yes, good morning. Talk to us. Good morning. You're welcome. What's the name, please? Where are you calling from? Namdi, I'm calling from DI. Okay, Namdi, go ahead with your question or your comment quickly, please. Hello. Go Hello. ahead with your question or comment. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Yeah, so, uh, maybe, so, we, maybe yeah. one of these days, uh, let me, we're going to invite some of these uh, uh, PTOs, this telephone company, uh, 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 yeah, okay. to come and tell us exactly why we are having so many drop calls. Okay, all right, go ahead. So, you know, art, the value is subjective. It depends on what you appreciate. Okay. So, these artists that you see on the street corner, because they are not in pro proper, uh, put in proper perspective. Because they are so proper structure yes, to promote what uh -huh. they are doing. So, yes. their value is low. Hmm. That same art piece can go to a gallery in VI, hmm. you know, put together yes, by a yes, gallery yes, or collector, yes, and yes. It, it will bring value. Now, I like uh, what you said just before we had one of one of our breaks, when we were uh, asking if corporate Nigeria can be a part yes, of, of yeah, this kind of journey. Yes. So, what are you doing in that regard? Yes, um, I have proposals um, for a TV reality show, because it's a, it's a trend that's going on. And if you are smart, you have to follow trend. It's because I follow trend that has survived in my career for 40 years. Yes. So there's no joking. Yes. Okay. For example, they do project film. I yes. love project film a lot. But as I'm watching, I'm thinking of the visual art. You know? You, could, you, you understand? We are, oh, I see. Yes, people with talent will yes. now come, come like musicians. And live they in draw, a house. Yes, and, and people vote, call in, vote. Appreciation will start. When the Shomolu Munshi Ajegunle boy comes to represent his yes, own image, yes, and people watch on TV, they see a painting. And, I like that. And that enthusiasm. But is that original to you? This idea that you're, you're yes, it's not to me in this my sphere. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying it has not been done in the world. Yes, uh, yes. You know, uh, everything has been. Uh, all the ones they, we are we not see. reinventing the wheel. Yes, uh, but we are emulating, yes. and emulation is the key. Yes, I wish pe religious people could emulate their Christ or their Allah. <laughs> If they emulate, we we'll love ourselves more. Yes. They are worshipping without yes. emulation. Yes. You understand? Yes. So emulation is the key. If we are able to emulate, the Chinese started emulating technology in the 40s, 50s. Are we Remember, for them? in the 50s, when you mm. buy a cigarette, uh, fabricated in Japan, mm. when you wear it for two years, you wash it with tea. Today, the Japanese are ahead of everyone. You understand? Africans need to wake Do up. That. We don't have a technology in Africa. Till today, Nigeria, Africa, we are consuming. No, you are saying we don't have a native technology. That's that what you are saying? I don't even want to brand it. Technology is technology. It's like my art. I don't want to be put in a glitch, in a, in a, in a, in a cocoon, say in a African box. art. Mm. No, I'm a contemporary artist. I can stand with Michelangelo, Picasso, or whatever. I like Seriously, I like you understand? So I don't like when they talk about me. Put me as contemporary. Don't say African art. No, I'm okay. not in that box. Now, so let's let's yeah. internationalize this a bit. Yeah. So how did you get to do works for Miriam Makeba for? Uh, uh, Bob Marley for yeah, that is, how, how did you get to? Uh, it's talking about this corporate thing. In the seventies, eighties, you know, we used to have multinational companies, Polygram Records, Phonogram, okay, yes, CBS, yes, yes, uh, yes, EMI, yes, yes, uh, Sony Music. Yes, I worked with everybody. All of them. That's why I have my volume of design. When I say two thousand, I'm not exaggeration. This is reality. For you have done two thousand yes, album covers. Over, over. For Polygram Records alone, I did over two hundred. 
and I have evidence. Papa Chris Agilo was producer all that period. Yes. He kept good records. I went to visit him one day and he said, let me check my album shelf and I checked and I got 200 of my own covers. I put from him? There. Yes, they are in my laptop today. So, in that process... That's from a polygram now? Yes, for polygram. Not to talk of Sony music, Ivory music. That Ivory music logo, I designed it. Ivory music. The EMI that became yes. I designed the logo, Ivory wow. music. I've done so much work in my life, but I'm happy to be alive. So I want to show myself as an example. For, I'm other, for, 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 for young, Just, younger yes, Nigerians. So that they can have confidence that art can pay. pay. You yes. have to be dedicated to your craft. I like that. Now, um, Reverend Adeo Joe says, we thank God for the power and wisdom God has given to you. But, sir, how can we meet you? That's Reverend Adeo Joe. He didn't give us a number here. Maybe you can talk to him on, on, on screen. Uh, okay, Reverend Adeo Joe, uh, thank you for your comment. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, Reverend Adeojo, thank you for your comment. Um, uh, Maybe you should give him your number. If you're on Facebook, uh -huh, let, let's okay, just great. use that because to show you how current I am, yeah, okay. I'll be 60 very soon, but I'm on Facebook. You're on Facebook already. Yes. So if you're on Facebook, um, my full name's Rarioku Lemi. That's G-H-A-R-I-O-K-W-U-L-E-M-I. Lemi, like Ola Lemi, not Lemi Cushion. Uh -huh. So if you Google, you type that name, or you Google my name, or go to Wikipedia, just type the name. We will be able to come. Uh, yeah, yes. yes, we can come give that Facebook or email. Okay, please. Uh, for other viewers, uh, if your uh, uh, call messages are not coming through, please, we'd like to appeal to you again. Use the SMS uh, drop box. Just drop your message, just like uh, this caller did, and we'll be able to read out your messages to uh, Lemmy. Now, yeah, I'm happy the, it's a reverend calling. Now. Oh, yes. I can give an example yes. of the power of art. Yeah. You know, the Bible yes. was illustrated. Yes. Today, yes. we yes. believe that Satan is black. Yes. <laughs> With horns. Uh, with okay, horns. Let, let me. Let's, that's the power of art. Yes. They put that in the psyche. Okay, oh, I'll art. come back to the yeah. horns. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Now, let, let, let's, talk, let's, let's talk about horns again. You also depicted. You know, um, a, a character in, in, in one of the last albums with horns, uh, a, a British figure. So, how, how did that inspiration come? I'm smiling. You know why? <laughs> the day Margaret Thatcher died, yes. within a few hours, I got an email from New York, from a company in New York. Because of the horns? Yes, and they said Margaret Thatcher just died. I said I had. They said, your album cover for Fela, Beast of No Nation. Yes. Now explain, why did you put horns on Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> and I explained. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> it's art. Even me, myself, I don't know the origin of the yeah, symbolism of horn, horns, yes. but it just shows like you are evil, you are a vampire, because from the illustration, like I said, said the, yes. Bible, the people who illustrated the Bible, they didn't even see Jesus. No. Because Jesus didn't have a photograph. Yes. You understand? Yes. But yeah, we know Satan. that blonde hair, yes, yes. Jesus image. <laughs> image. So the same thing, we know the Satan image has horn. So and when dark. Fela sang the song, Beast of No Nations, he mentioned so many Hello. So I, Hello. I, yeah. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning, man. You're welcome. Uh, who's yeah. coming? Oh, oh, boy. The only lady, and that's that's a pity. Uh, please try and call again before we, we wrap up. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're yeah. saying so. So, I illustrated Fela's lyrics, but, you know, vis-a-vis -vis my own conviction. Uh, because he mentioned some, fig some figures he didn't even mention, I put them. So, uh, specifically, uh, Mobutu Seseko. Yes. Fela didn't mention Mobutu. Okay. But... From his lyrics, you know, I perceive Mobutu fitted into. So I put him. Why? Because Mobutu was African. Yeah. You know, I wanted to show objectivity yes. with that. So that some of these fellows know. too, they yeah. they they, they yeah. up knob with all this. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. We have um, yet another uh, SMS here. Solomon from Ogun State. He gave us his number, so you probably have to call him later. Let me. He says, I would love to have some of these fellas' artwork and music. Please, how do I get it? Okay, Solomon. Um, I'll call you after the show. Right. I'll call you so we can talk about that. Thank you so much for your interest. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, uh, for for closing remarks, um, I don't want us to leave this studio without us without you giving us a, a hope for Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians are, uh, I don't want to say despairing, but they are almost like uh, hundred years down the down the line, and the country is no country, it's no nation. Yeah. We, we are not making any progress. Yeah, so, like, like I keep saying, I'm I'm an optimist to the death. I'm not never gonna give up like Peter Tosh, my, my reggae hero, said one time like that until Africa and Africans are free, yeah. I will never give up. So for Nigerians, anywhere I travel out of this country, anytime I meet Nigerians, I always implore them come back home. 
and believe you me, I'm a proud recipient of not less than six of my old friends that have been away for like 30, 40 years. They are back now. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And beautiful. I'm trying to help, you know, for them Settle to them. stabilize. Yeah. yeah. We need to build this nation. I mentioned the Jews. I mentioned the Indians. The Chinese. Chinese. We need to be cohesive. That's Pan Africanism. Pan Africa. Pan is, you know, to put Go together around. a hair. So it's not Juju. When you say Pan Africa, ignorance, people will say, ah, I be they want to worship Juju. No, it's not about religion. It's about us, cohesiveness. Our own identity. Our networking. So Nigeria has too much potential to be lagging behind. Nigeria is so blessed every, every which way you think about it. But it's because Africa. it's the mentality. There's a Nigerian psyche. There's a Nigerian factor. So we need to correct that. Correct that. For example, it's instructional. Phone calls we are trying to come in. No, they take. cannot. I may say one or two words so those people, it could change their life. All right. Let me, it's a pity my producer is saying to us that uh, maybe because of that break, we don't seem so, to have enough hope, time again. So, but there's hope. There's hope for Nigeria. Definitely. Yeah. That's why I'm living here. Thank you very Forever much. Forever till I die. So, let me say, don't run anywhere. If you're outside or if you have uh, parents or brothers or sisters outside, let me say, please encourage them to come back home because we have to rebuild the country together. Thank you very much for coming on to us. Thank you. Thank it's you. been a thank pleasure. You and for our viewers, uh, thank you can never be sufficient. Stay with us on this show. Please. The conversation will continue on uh, youtube.com forward slash nta2 lagos network center look for close flow with lemmy garioko and then let's have a comment and your likes and then of course you can share with your friends until another edition of the show it's goodbye from us